ओंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकम बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ंबक 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 यजाहे 
सुगंधिम पुष्टि वर्धन उर्वाकम बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षी मृता आत ओ शांति 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 quietly for a moment <clears throat> So, today is our first satsang for the Kailash Yatra, and this is how the pattern will be. We'll chant some mantras in the beginning. Either Om Namah Shivaya or Trembakam Yajamahe. Uh, I hope you all know the meaning of Trembakam Yajamahe. What you just chanted. If not, we'll just recap it. So that becomes a, just uh, uh, like when we have lunch, we have a starter. So this is a starter. so we invoke the trambakam trambakam is the lord shiva himself trambakam yajamahe yajamahe to invoke to pray to salute to uh, uh, remember whichever way you put it yajamahe who the three eyed one trambakam uh, what is that three the one we what do you understand by three eyed one suddenly the picture of the lord shiva with three eyes comes isn't it yes that is good but there is another meaning can anyone can tell the enlightened one enlightened one okay three tatvas satva rajatama what then what do you mean what do you mean by three tatvas ha to the one one who is beyond the waking eyes the deep sleep eyes or the dream eyes so the three so you have gone beyond and where can you go beyond can you go beyond in dream no can you go beyond in sleep no only in waking we can do sadhana and we can go beyond the three so going beyond the three means the one who has opened opened the eye of wisdom by remembering the divine and who is that divine <coughs> Lord Shiva, who is that Lord Shiva? He is the one who knows. He is the same one who knows. एक दम से dive कर रहे हैं हम deep. तो the one who knows that the waking, dream, and deep sleep are happening and coming and going every day. Who knows this? Some other God outside above the sky, or you yourself? You know that every day waking, dream, deep sleep comes and goes, isn't it? Which one is that? Is it the waker? is it the dreamer is it the sleeper uh, right now who said yes the waker said yes isn't it you are all wake awake i hope <laughs> so you all said yes but can the waker say yes because he has got no entry in the dream he has got no entry in the sleep so who said yes this is the question of enquiry and when this becomes clear the eye of wisdom opens up because you 
are thinking you are the waker but you are actually the <coughs> one who is beyond the waking dream and deep sleep when you if this clicks on the full moon day or before that or after that on this yatra trambakam your your prayers to the trambakam has become fulfilled you have come to the original you have come to the absolute ya ja hai sugandhim then what happens he there is a beautiful fragrance around such a person i don't know how many of you met sai baba <laughs> satya sai baba how many of you met you have met how many of you met mata amritan mahima some of you have met yes. have you hugged her yes what is the fragrance that comes out of her how uh, even after 15 20 hours of hugging people all the sweat on her but what fragrance comes vibhuti wali fragrance hai na sugandhim this is very physical i am saying but sugandhim also means that which calms your mind whenever you go in the presence of mahatmas whenever you go in the presence of some very very activated uh, temple where the pujari has done the job with full devotion you feel the same thing a beautiful uh, disposition your mind becomes calm there is a nice uh, your eyes are calm they are not looking around who has come who has not come your eyes are there uh, you feel nourished so that automatically comes pushti pushti means nourishment so the one who is of beautiful fragrance and who nourishes us and what is that nourishment nourishment is that you come back to yourself at a lower level that you become committed to the lord to the divine even lower than that you committed to being doing your duty in life that is as you come towards the grossness subtleness will be that you commit to the lord from knowledge point of view you commit you come to abide in the essential nature <coughs> so sugandhim pushti vardhanam vardhanam happens then how does this how does this take place so example is given urva rukam eva bandhanat mrityor mukshiyam amratat so urva ruka urva is a is a fruit or a vegetable जैसे क्यूकम्बर होता है या पम्पकिन इज देर और जुकीनी इज देर ना वेर वेर डू यू सी पम्पकिन ग्रोइंग ऑन अ ट्री और ऑन अ वाइन वाइन हाँ वाई इट डजेंट ग्रो ऑन अ ट्री बिकॉज इफ इट फॉल्स एंड समन इज वॉकिंग बिलो इट यू विल गो है ना बट वॉट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस फ्रूट और लाइक पम्पकिन एक्सेट्रा that when they grow where do they grow on the plant correct they are getting nourishment from the plant as like any other fruit but when you are taking a example of mango or uh, apples what do you have to do if you want a apple or mango you have to pluck if it has fallen usually usme crack aa jata hai sometimes it gets dented and you don't want to eat what is fallen on the ground but you have to pull it away from the plant so so that you don't commit that uh, uh, sin of plucking away uh, the child from the fruit from the mother plant you say om narayana arpana vastu and you take our shri krishna sharana mama take some bhagwad's name ke bhai prasad karke main le raha hu but here what happens is the pumpkin is sitting on the ground it is getting nourished by the mother plant and you don't have to pluck the fruit what happens the mother plant leaves the fruit when the fruit is ripe so the pumpkin is sitting what happens the plant the vine which has come and connected itself to the pumpkin it starts shriveling hai na and then it becomes smaller and without no just you touch and actually if you see that part which is connected it starts shrinking and it just comes up leaves the fruit alone unmoving exactly the same way your example is this is the example if you understood 
our meditation our contemplation our uh, naam jap should be such that wherever we are sitting where what are we nourished by 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 earth divine grace divine grace we are divine grace is not giving you you have to go and eat food from the buffet you can't say come to the ground level now <laughs> huh? so where are we getting nourished from 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 the food where where are we living in this sansar <coughs> we have relationships we have people we have mother father we have the society we have the nation we have the whole universe we are a part of this universe and we are being nourished by the universe isn't it without it you and there is not only one universe there is one waking universe there is one dream universe also <laughs> both places you are getting uh, nourished but how do you conduct the topic is sadachar so how do you conduct yourself how do you do your sadhana what you were asking yesterday or how do we nourish ourselves from this world the tree of the world of which we are a part we have to nourish ourselves in such a way that the world having nourished us shrivels away from our mind because the world only exists in our mind because if you don't have a mind you don't have a world oh no 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 that mad fellow is there he is he doesn't know anything he has got no brain but the world is still there for whom for you people it is there but for that that person who is not having a brain or not functioning uh, for him there is no world he is totally oblivious eyes are seeing but doesn't know anything <laughs> ears are hearing but not knowing any, why Be- mind behind it is not there so a, we'll talk about it more later when it comes but simple the whole world is nourishing us and it should withdraw from us without disturbing us so she said swami ji i did not sleep all night <laughs> just now so what was disturbing <laughs> diarrhea <laughs> what was disturbing me the juice yesterday who was with me <laughs> so this is that's part of the world isn't it so i gave you instructions don't eat any salad and uh, momos and all that and uh, myself i saw the juice oh chalo yaar mar lo ek aur baad mein pet kharab ha to ye this is what happens when we are moving around in this world everything attracts us some things we dislike some things we like and without any discrimination we take it in and create a problem for ourselves but how should we do it how should we interact with the world so that our uh, peace of mind our uh, what do you call uh, like the pumpkin we are not disturbed it should mature us it should fill us it should uh, ripen us the world must ripen us and that ripening बीच में डिफिकल्टीज होगी हवा होगी विंड विल कम रेन विल कम सन विल कम स्ट्रॉम विल कम बट वी डू नॉट गेट डिस्टर्ब एंड इन दिस वे कंडक्ट योर सेल्फ उर्वा रुक में वह बंधना देन वॉट विल हैपन देन योर आई ऑफ विजडम विल ओपन अप त्रयंबकम यजा महे सुगंधिम पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वा रुक में वह बंधना मृत्योर मुक्षीय मामृता See, you can we can keep talking about it for a long time. Many times this example will come because we are going to that Trambakam. Who have? If you have seen the south face of Kailash, you will see the third eye, isn't it? <coughs> so that must remind that we that third eye must kitna sundar hai. Immediately, this is a subjective journey. We are all on a subjective journey. We are not here to uh, uh, what you call sightseeing. <laughs> here you are to discover yourself don't go with this idea that you are going to see kailash no you are going there kailash is the pratik and you are going there to discover the kailash within you are going to discover the trambakam within you are going there to discover the gauri ganesh or shiv parvati within that should be our attitude 
Now, if that is the attitude, what if that attitude is clear and your intention is clear, automatically all your actions will correspond to that intention, isn't it? Is that is our experience in life that whatever our intention is, whatever our conviction is, that determines our thoughts and actions, correct? Actions kaha kaha hote hai? Where are the actions taking place? Manasa, Vacha, Kaya. Huh? So, Manasa, the mind, the thoughts are determined by the intentions or the convictions. Then, whatever is the thought in the mind, the speech should also come out the same way, will automatically come out the same way. And the speech also, then body also starts behaving that way, the breath starts behaving. If you are sometimes seen, if you are angry, the breath is... <laughs> if you are shant, doubt aata hai. am I alive? <laughs> Isn't it? So, when you are calm, cool, collected, integrated, huh? for this integration, the yogis, they do the uh, ida and pingla balancing. Hmm? Uh, they, they all could do that. Why? So that the sushumna opens up. So opening of sushumna means you are integrated. You don't have to do that physical. It is very, very, it's all in, because we don't know how to. Therefore, we have to do something. We are addicted to doing. To be the divine that you essentially are, really, you don't have to do anything. The pumpkin doesn't do anything, it just sits there. The, the, the plant, mother plant, nourishes it. Whatever is required comes to it. The small child in the house, it doesn't do anything. Everything is provided, food is provided, nappy is changed. At the right time, the mother will put it to sleep or if it does, she doesn't, he will go to sleep. When he is required, he will get up. He is automatically in the uh, nature cycle. As we grow up, <coughs> growing up means what? Ego. <laughs> then all disturbance begins. We, we alienate ourselves from the nature. And once we alienate, then all the problems begin in life. And then when we get a little bit at our age, we are all almost similar age, except two young ones. <laughs> huh? And then we start thinking, yeah, there must be something more to life. <laughs> Some people do Annapurna trek, some people do Mount Kosciuszko trek, some people do Kalimanjaro trek, some people do Machu Picchu trek. Now I am ready. Then I go and I think, let's go to हाँ पर वो बुलावा आने का मतलब क्या कि ये वचार पहले क्यों नहीं आया मन में कैलाश वाज ऑलवेज देयर यू आल्सो न्यू इट ही आल्सो न्यू इट सो व्हाई डिड दैट थॉट नॉट कम सो व्हेन दैट फर्स्ट थॉट केम चलो लेट्स गो फॉर कैलाश दैट इज द बुलावा दैट इटसेल्फ इज बुलावा यू थिंक मैं अब थोड़ी सी ज्यादा बात कर देता हूं यू थिंक यू आर थिंकिंग दैट इज द बिगेस्ट जोक <laughs> so the day that you get the, got the thought let's go to kailash it was his bulawa now once that once that calling comes and you work towards it with faith devotion uh, and uh, a proper attitude then the path keeps <laughs> opening up path keeps opening up if you get distracted from that goal from that destination then uh, Many people wanted to come, but they don't come. For whatever reasons, nothing wrong. It's not, this is not the time. So just like when you're driving a car at, in wherever you are, you are very clear when you leave from home that I have to reach so and so place. You don't complain about traffic. You negotiate through traffic. And if you have to press the brake, you have to increase the speed, you have to decrease the speed, you have to change the gear, you have to uh, uh, indicate left, you have to indicate right, you have to turn, make so many turns, so much activity is happening as a driver. 
absolute alertness so that no accident happens. Why? Because I have to reach the destination. Do we maintain that alertness in life? <laughs> Today, from here, uh, from here onwards till Kailash, you will have to. Yeah. <laughs> we both experimented one. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> huh? So, we are living alertly every moment of our existence is the way. And that is Sadachar. Sad Achar. Sad means truth. Achar means conduct. How to conduct in truth day in and day out, every moment of our existence. What is that art? And that we are given with one example. Urva Rukumiva Bandhanat Mrityor Mukshiya Mamradat. Better ho. But we don't know how to sit like a pumpkin and not do anything. People will call us lazy. Correct? Yeah. But, you know, as we were, when we took sannyas and we started moving around, no income, no nothing, and people are saying, eh, phaltu ka time waste kar hai. What happened? Why did you do it? Who broke your heart? <laughs> <laughs> Who said no to you? Nahi yaar, phir drama to hum bhi to kam tudna hai guru ke chele. Hum bhi drama kar dete, haa yaar. Usne bhi dil tod diya, usne bhi dil tod diya, usne bhi dil tod diya. Achha, then the news spread. Achha, Swami ji ka dil tod gaya, isli sanyasi ban gaya. It is an inner calling. When you, when you have assessed your life, just like you have assessed your life, ki sab kuch kar liya. You did your duties, your children are grown up, now is the right time. She is matured very fast. And, they have, you have decided, okay, now we'll go to Kailash. Uh, are you afraid of losing yourself in Kailash? Not physically. Are you ready to surrender completely to Kailash? 100%. Hmm? 110. 110. 110. 110. 110. 110. 110. 110. 110. 110. 110. Very good. That is good. So, that attitude, go. So, Bhagawan, if the innermost desire is to have darshan, that might happen. If the innermost desire, which you also don't know what your, abhi kabhi kabhi logo ko clear nahi hota. Sometimes they must have made some sankalpa in their mind, ki Bhagawan meir ko kisi tarike se darshan de de. Wo sab, agar, if this is very clear, I am ready to completely merge into him. And that's why I am going on this journey, it will happen. And I've seen it happen. Why you are going again and again? It hasn't happened. No, I'm enjoying it. This is now the glory. It's going to be the glory of Lila. So, this is going to be the glory of Lila. And, you know, once you, you have met, some of you have met Dinesh, Seema, and the other couple, Sushila and what is their name? Nagaraj? Ramesh. Ramesh, Ramesh. Ramesh and uh, them, then Raj and Prashila, some of you have met. Uh, so they all came, that time we did the, did the Nandi Kora. In those days they used to allow. 2012 they allowed, 2014 they closed. So that was lucky. Uh, nine of us did the Nandi Kora, climbed Kailash in the south face. So we climbed up till the end of the third eye of uh, uh, on the south face till there we climbed or waha and uh, dinesh and seema ramesh ye to ye nahi aa paaye the lekin bhakti itni thi ki unko darshan ho gaye ab wo bolte nahi hai lekin darshan hue unko ab kaise hue main kabhi puchta nahi kyunki it's a personal thing jis din batayenge us din bata denge hai na so, so life, this is one lifetime opportunity that uh, we have all uh, got. I take it every time as a new calling because every moment is a new moment. It's, nothing is repeated in creation, if you know. You can never go back to being yesterday what you were. Every moment is a new moment. So, even if I am going ninth time, it is the first time I am going. 
it is like that i am uh, i am in, under no imagination ki maine no work i have done it nine times so i am a veteran <laughs> no because the challenges are always unique challenges are always unique all that is required when the challenges come is your equilibrium gita says samatvam yoga uchyate sukha dukha samay kritva labha labha ho jaya jayo tato yuddhay yuddhasva na shochati na kangshati means what remain in the middle of joys and sorrows remain in the middle means don't get disturbed by joys don't get excited by joys don't get depressed by sorrows don't get excited by uh, gain or by depressed by loss if you are victorious i did it uh, fir next time oh, phus kyun nahi kar paya kuch bhi life mein not necessary this so even in victory and defeat remain in the center and most importantly how do you bring this about na shochati na kangshati do not have any regrets or guilts about what has happened in the past and don't have any expectations of what is going to happen in the future because both are imaginations the only truth is available in this very moment here and now be fo- be be available to yourself in this moment na shochati na kangshati to jaise maine pehle bataya tha you do when you do ida pingla balancing to the sushumna opens up just now we we are doing the kathopanishad at home uh, and in that last two three verses are in kathopanishad are about this so uh, uh, you cut the body you will not find uh, ida or pingla you cut the body you will not find sushumna but yogis do feel yogis do experience but i want sushumna you cannot happen just like uh, someone uh, when will when when will i no you do the sadhana then the result of it will be whatever it will so someone says i want yogurt dudh swami ji iska dudh kuch karo mere ko batao kaise is dudh ko yogurt banana hey man you have to put the virgin virgin kya bata hai culture of dahi you have to heat up the milk you have to leave it you have to add the culture mix it and leave it don't touch it don't shake it bar bar jaake acha ho gaya kya dahi if you keep moving every one hour or two hours or three hours also that means three times in the night you have moved it will you get yogurt in the morning no even temperature also important for yes yes all those things that we are not talking over for yogurt it is outside yeah. temperature for med- for meditator it is inside temperature yes. <laughs> sukha dukha samay kritva is the temperature uh, so just like that you cannot move the milk only then you will get yogurt it has its own period by after which you will get the result if you look for the yogurt in the milk you will not find you look for butter in the milk you will not find it's it has to go through a process similarly we have to go through a process but in today's age of instant uh, results and gratification abhi socha mere ko chahiye aise nahi hota hai sadhana karni padti hai we have to do the sadhana and what is the sadhana this will tell you how best sadhana is to live that live your life as a sadhana rather than live your life licentiously and do sadhana for half an hour every day indulge in everything in life and just to compensate for that indulgence uh, i went to a satsang you know i went to a church you know every sunday i go to church every week i go to satsang and rest of the week you are indulging khao piyo talk bad talk do this sab nahi chalta ऐसे नहीं चलता फिर कभी कुछ नहीं होने वाला यू विल रिमेन इन द सेम लू सो सदाचार इज अबाउट कंडक्टिंग कंडक्टिंग आवर सेल्स इन ट्रूथ एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ आवर एग्जिस्टेंस दिस इज द फर्स्ट कॉमेंट्री दैट माई टीचर स्वामी अनुभानंद जी ही रोट वेन ही वॉज 
when he became a he was still a brahmachari at that time and that's the only book he wrote <laughs> after that he never wrote any book but he still has 100 book more than 100 books because all the devotees they take his talks and they uh, uh, transcribe it and then he edits it and then it goes into <coughs> publication so that is the only book and uh, uh, so it's cup first verse we'll see today you can repeat after me there it is given there in english also and it is given there in sanskrit also sachidanand repeat after me sachidanand kandaya sachidanand kandaya sachidanand kandaya जगदम कुरहेतवे जगदम कुरहेतवे जगदम कुरहेतवे जगदम कुरहेतवे सदोदिताय पूर्णाय सदोदिताय पूर्णाय सदोदिताय पूर्णाय सदोदिताय पूर्णाय नमोनंताय विष्णुवे नमोनंताय विष्णुवे नमोनंताय विष्णुवे नमोनंताय विष्णुवे टुगेदर सच्चिदानंद कंदाय जगदम कुरहेतवे सदोदिताय पूर्णाय नमोनंताय विष्णुवे salute someone can read or i will read it salutations to the supreme self which is of the nature of the absolute sachidananda which is eternal all encompassing indestructible salutations salutations to the primordial cause of the sprout of the world which is all pervasive salutations namaskar ha sachidananda kandaya and salutations to whom salutations to that sachidanand swarup reality salutations to that sachidanand swarup uh, truth ha huh? and what is that truth what is that reality you call it parmatma you call it bhagwan you call it the spirit or the self it's one and the same thing it's only with a reference to what <coughs> the yogis call it parmatma the devotees call it uh, bhagwan the vedantis or gyanis they call him call it brahman and the one uh, who is the individual he calls it the self but they, it's all the same just like you are one your husband calls you wife your children call you mother your parents call you uh, daughter exactly the same way but you are one similarly this parmatma also this truth is also one and in the, uh, the chinese call it tao <laughs> indians call it uh, uh, brahman or parmatma so naam naam badalne se kuch nahi farak padta hmm? so our salutations to that one uh, truth and what is that truth jagat ankura hetave which is the uh, which is the cause everything there are three rules in creation in creation every effect must have a cause example tell me for fruit to come there must be a tree for a tree to trees the effect seed has to be there isn't it for a child the parents have to be there are the cause so similarly if this this is the big question which our rishis and munis they used to ask and sit in meditation and then they it got revealed and then the upanishads and vedas came out which were how this whole creation has come about and there is no one answer <laughs> if you look at the ways of creation in our shrimad bhagavat puran 88 different types of creation are told to prove that there is no one way of creation it's not just a big bang it's not just a, a theory of evolution 88 different types koi bhagwan se bolta hai koi jain log atom se bolte hain 
they say two atoms coming together life comes out it doesn't that is there buddhist call say that the creation came out of nothingness so there are different and all these different paths that you see and these ideas that people have all of them are incorporated in bhagavad in our sanatan dharma so uh, here so first rule was every effect must have a cause without so if the wave is the effect there must be a cause called the ocean without ocean you cannot have a wave isn't it in that example without the gold you cannot have an ornament without the mud you cannot have the pot without the parents you can the child cannot be there without the cause there cannot be effect second rule these are very helpful in living your life second rule cause itself appears as many effects parents themselves appear parents the cause themselves appears as many dif- different children <laughs> without the parents the children cannot come the seed alone appears as the trunk the branch the leaves the fruits isn't it many effects the ocean alone appears as many effects the waves mud is one but it appears as many effects called the pots gold is one as a, as a element but it effect appears as many effects called the ornaments so this is the basics if this is our observation we have never analyzed it if this is our observation we have never articulated it scriptures help us to articulate what we are experiencing so if this is what our experience of the world is from where did the world come from there must be a cause for this world also in 15th chapter bhagavad gita it says urdhva mula madashakam ashwatham prahuravyayam chandasi yasya parnani yastam vedavita adash chordham prasutas tasya shakha guna pravridha vishay pravala okay so there it was given the upside down tree so here it is told that what is this satchidanand who are my who are my salutations to to that existence sat is existence chit is consciousness and anand is the bliss so my and what is that i have already told you call it parmatma call it bhagwan call it brahman call it the self and i am not talking about the ego self and not i am not talking about the individual self i am talking about that consciousness that you are which knows the waking dream and deep sleep come and go that one which is untouched that is the cause of the creation that is the cause of the creation out of it out of that consciousness this whole creation has sprouted out and because it is the cause of the whole creation my salutations to that ultimate cause to that divine cause usko aap the vaishnavites will call it vishnu the maharashtrians will call it vithala the shaivites will call it lord shiva the kartikeya the followers of kartikeya will call kartikeya as the 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 supreme uh, reality those who are the ganapatyas they will call him the ganesh he is the mahavishnu this freedom to choose whom you want to what all gods are they, all of them are same no in essence they are all sachidanand swaroop no god you call uh, this is little bit sachidanand no all gods are sachidanand swaroop we are not talking about devatas okay indra devata vayu devata uh, prithvi de- uh, devata we are not talk- we are talking about gods so they are all of them are sachidanand swaroop so when you see read chant the stuti of kartikeya it is sachidanand you chant the uh, narayana sachidanand roopaya vishva vishvopatyadi hetave tapatre vinashaya shri krishnaya vayam shri narayana vayam namaha or shri krishnaya vayam namaha sachidanand roopaya so that narayana who is of the nature of sachidanand and who is the 
कॉज ऑफ द विश्व वहां पे भी यही ऐसे ही मंत्र है सो सो यर वी आर यर यू वी आर टू ओपन अवर थिंकिंग डोंट बिकम अ वैष्णवाइट और शैवाइट और गेट ब्रेक ब्रेक द बैरियर्स एंड दैट बैरियर द अल्टीमेट बैरियर विल बी ब्रोकन वेन यू गो टू यमद्वार द बैरियर ऑफ बॉडी आइडेंटिफिकेशन तो ये सब प्रिपरेशन होगा तो इट विल बी वेरी ईजी फॉर यू सो यू डोंट हैव टू थिंक वॉट डिड ई मीन वॉट डिड ई मीन वॉट डिड ई मीन यमद्वार मीन्स you drop your first round you drop your physical body second round you drop your subtle body meaning your mind and third round you drop your causal body meaning your uh, intellect in other words or in other words first round you drop the waking second round you drop the dream third round you drop the sleep and remain awake remain conscious that is shiva then shiva is walking then you are not walking cause himself is expressing as the effect then you are walk lord shiva is walking now you are nobody everything is happening by his will and you will experience this during the walk it is unlike any other walk agar char charan sparsh hua ya dolmala pass those who are able to go to dolmala pass you will come across many barriers physical mental those who are identified with the body physical barriers those who are identified with the mind mental barriers because body will follow your mental convictions remember this action is a result of your thoughts thoughts are the result of your intentions and convictions intentions and convictions don't happen in mind they happen in the intellect so what are you convinced of about yourself so that will determine those are the barriers sachidanand kandaya jagadankur hetave sadoditaya purnaya purnantaya vishnave and so salutations to the supreme self that supreme self as i have already explained which is of the nature of the sachidanand swarup um, existence consciousness and bliss and which is purnaya sat uditaya purnaya that sat sat means the truth here we'll use it as truth uditaya it is it is ever complete purnaya purnamada purnamidam you have heard of that mantra so what is that mantra purnamada purnamidam purnat purnam mudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate this is another way of creation what is that this is complete out of our experience is what if one glass is full of water if we remove some water from that glass what is left behind is incomplete and what has come out is also incomplete it is not a full glass of water neither what is left behind is full glass of water nor what you have got now after taking out the, neither that is full but what purnamada says out of that purna the if something is taken out what is left behind is also purna and what has come out is also purna so actually nothing has happened yet everything has happened so example out of the complete waters waves have come out has water become less because the wave have appeared no water remains water then the waves merge back into the waters has the water become more nothing water still remains water exactly this is your experience of life also will show you <laughs> as we go along that nothing in your life has happened you have always been complete coming to lord shiva means realization that you have always past present and in future also you are always complete what is that complete sachidanand kandaya so we are praying to him to record for his grace so that we recognize our completeness right now we are divided i am a mother i am a father i am a sanyasi i am a sadhak i am a duniya ka mara hu everyone has different different ideas 
I am hungry. I am not hungry. I I did not get enough sleep. I am very fresh. Some everything goes on. We are breaking ourselves up into so many things, isn't it? But actually, we are complete. Recognizing this, for this is this journey. Continuing, namo anta. So here it is. It was namo nanta. We are chanting like that. But actually, ananta. Ananta is what the Salutations to that Ananta Vishnave. Ananta means what? That which has no big infinite. What is the definition of infinite? That which has no beginning and no end. That is Anant, isn't it? Ananta, with beginningless and endless. So, where do you begin from? I begin from here. Where do I end? At the toes. So, we are not Ananta. <laughs> but within this did you create this body no no so we have to recognize that we are essentially ananta while in this body that is called jivan mukti and if that is attained even with the last breath it is a life well lived but what do we live our life for indulgence <laughs> बकेट लिस्टिक करते रहते हैं बस सो लेट कैलाश यात्रा बी नॉट ओनली अ बकेट लिस्ट इज द फाइनल डेस्टिनेशन इस एटीट्यूड के साथ जाओ फिर देखो आनंद कल ऑलरेडी कईयों को आनंद आया कैलाश ये छोटा सा आनंद है जब यू एन यू सो पशुपति नाथ दिस इज ओनली इट इट वॉज टाइनी आफ्टर सम टाइम यू फॉर गॉड इफ यू हैव टू रिमेंबर अगेन we want to come to a point where we don't have to remember it continuously keeps sprouting continuously every moment when it is happening by naturally then you don't have to remember it isn't it then you don't have to put any efforts then you don't have to work hard why tumne ek hi in one go you have finished yourself and you have come to realize or he has revealed himself because you got out of the way who is you the ego तो विद दिस विल अभी है टाइम सात बज गए क्या कितने बज गए तीन मिनट फिर करेक्ट तो ठीक है सैल्यूशन टू दैट प्राइमोडियल कॉज ऑफ द स्प्राउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विच इज ऑल परवेजिव सो हाउ परवेजिव इज दिस वर्ल्ड हाउ बिग इज दिस यूनिवर्स हाउ फ्रॉम वेयर डज इट बिगिन एंड वेयर डज इट एंड we use the same words anant anant only isn't it but tell me you see a anant world in dream do you <clears throat> there also the sky is there where the whole universe is existing where is the whole universe existing within us in space let's take in space without space can universe exist nahi correct i'm not talking out of imagination it's your experience so even in dream the universe the dream universe is existing in the space isn't it where does that space go away when you wake up <laughs> it concludes where does the now you are in jagrat avastha here also the whole universe is existing in the space where does this space go when you go to sleep is it the same place space which you are experiencing in the dream or is it the same space which you are experiencing in deep sleep of nothingness sochne don't answer just think so is the waking space in which the universe is existing the same as the dream space in which the dream universe is existing or are they separate if they are separate Uh, uh, uh if they are separate that is uh, okay if they are, if you say they are same then why can't i go in and out without losing my con- waking consciousness i can't do that question question aa jata hai na space ki quality same hai but we have created division there why do i behave as a, a son to my mother and a husband to my wife i am the same person why do i do that and as much as i might try if my wife is in front of me i will not think and behave as a father <laughs> i cannot kyun ho jata hai conviction ki baat hai sari 
you have accepted that with reference to this person i am a husband with reference to this person i am a father with reference to this person i am a so same way with the waking the dream the deep sleep so yahan pe jab bolte hain ki so when we say ananta this universe is ananta we are seeing it is ananta there is no horizon horizon is not the conclusion of the universe <laughs> when you go it get there it, it continues but it has a conclusion this waking universe has a conclusion then you get into the dream universe and then you go into a absence of the universe in deep sleep so wahan pe bhi alag space hai empty space hai so which when we are talking about all the three together then it's a different matter when we talking about all the three but from our experience this universe is infinite from the dream experience also it is infinite but it comes to a conclusion when we wake up but universe as a principle and what is the principle of universe that it keeps coming and keeps going the principle of the universe is it keeps changing every moment i cannot touch the river and say i caught the river by the time you say i caught it river has already changed that, that's what you say about when i see some kids many or even iske bachche dekhe hain iske iske bachche dekhe hain ha and abhi just a uh, few of the kids got married so they used to come to my children's class she used to sit on my lap and i am giving lecture she will not sit anywhere she will sit on my lap only iske bhi bachche aate the mere paas so when i saw them after so many years after quite a few uh, 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 20 years i saw ha so bop re i would not have recognized so what is that 20 years it's change we think but what do we feel that we are the same we never feel that we have changed whenever we talk about change what do we say body has changed breath has changed circumstances have changed the world has changed the hair has changed the daadi has changed the eyesight has changed the pehle main itna bakasur ki tarah khata tha now i can't eat anything ha health has changed so we always talk about something which has changed but we never say that i have changed in intrinsically we feel we are the same isn't it will with that thought spend your day till the next satsang <laughs> that you are the changeless that changeless is the parmatma that changeless is the self and that self is the cause of the sprout of the universe out of you the universe out of the, if i say me it becomes a ego trip <laughs> but we what do we say anandaya vishnave that who is that total waking person that total waking person is the vishnu bhagwan vish usko bolte hain vishwa ya vishnu bolte hain so dekho vishwa what is the word used in it vish <laughs> i'm being <laughs> vish vishwa main part is wish that it is poison vishnu he was drunk that poison that's why he is blue the one who has drunk the poison is vishnu chalo with that thought om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate शांति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ जस्ट सेट क्वाइटली फॉर अ मोमेंट लेट इट सी पेन
हरिओम